Hello everybody, it's Alex from Bad Aim Incorporated. Hopefully, I'm using a different uh, capturing thing, it's called Camtasia, and hopefully you can hear me over the sounds of this loud Minecraft music, so we're just going to turn it down. I'm not even sure if you can hear it at all. But I'm going to go over 1.1 update, it just came out today, and I'm super duper excited because I really like what's in this update. So first of all, you can go, and now there's... Uh, 56 languages you can choose from from this title screen you see so all you do is click on this globe and you can actually go and speak pirate so plundered you play by yourself play with your mate paint your vessel but um so yeah i'm gonna change off of pirate because i don't understand it and so yeah so first we're gonna go into single player and i think that i want to show you from creative and survival as you see here so in creative what i want to show you is one look at this huge village the npc village i've got a giant one here and so one thing i want to outline actually i need to go back but one thing i want to show you is you notice how this land is very flat but i did not use world edit you can do this simply by going into create new world more world, options, world type and it goes from default to super flat and that's what i was on and it shows you exactly, it, it, like, it makes it completely flat. So, as you see here, oh wow, spawn, no. And also, um, slimes spawn very frequently, very frequently on the flat, um, on the flat world type. But that's not what I wanted to show you from the flat world type. What I really wanted to show you is the new thing that is associated with these gotcha. Things. Everyone has seen. Everyone has seen these. Um, the the Smithers uh, furnace. But now there is a treasure chest inside each and every single furnace room. So you see here, you walk in here, and these are completely untampered with. You saw I already have the world, and I checked what was inside the chest, but I have not put anything in there. I swear to that to you. So this one has a chest plate, two iron chest plates. A piece of bread, four iron ingots, three apples, and five saplings. You see, I have too many items. I do not use too many items when I'm actually recording, like, uh, my Minecraft series, which I'm sorry I haven't put out in a while. But I do not use too many items when I'm doing that. I use it for just, like, demonstration purposes because, you know, we put out a lot of, like, tutorials. Because I think we mostly put out tutorials that we would like to see. Like, if we were in your guys' shoes, I would like to know about these things that we put the videos out. So that's why we try to learn for you. So here's the second chest, and it was a little more rewarding, as I already knew. One diamond, one iron pickaxe, three iron ingots, iron leggings, an iron chest plate, and three apples. And you can simply turn this off by pressing off. So, as you see here, we have, you know, pretty much... This is, um, and also, okay, yeah, another thing I wanted to show you. You cannot, uh, you can't trample crops by stepping on them anymore. But I don't know what tramples them then. Because you saw, that was just random, trust me. I've been walking on crops for a long time. I think they now randomly, like, deplant or something like that. But I, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, I need to look farther into that. But yeah. These slimes are really annoying me that they're slapping. They sound like they're masturbating. Slapper sound. So yeah, this is a huge, nice uh, NPC village, which I really like. And also on creative, this is something that is only on creative. You can now get spawn. You can get mob spawn eggs, which that quite simply means you grab the spawn egg, and bam, there's a pig. There's no guesswork. Nothing. And so what I don't want to, um, so I'm going to just do a couple of those. I'm going to do, uh, strictly non-hostile mobs, except for one. And you'll, you'll understand why I do that single one. Let's see, silverfish I don't think can hurt you. But if I can, um, I'll return. So, yeah. Basically, you can just, like, place them. I'm on creative, so I have a of the eggs. Because, you know, you don't, 
run out of anything on creative but on uh regular uh, on regular survival if you you can't get the eggs in survival but if somehow you get an admin to spawn them on a multiplayer server one egg equals one mob so as you see, see you can actually put on squids on dry land which is really weird this whole coalition of mobs spawned just from these eggs, which I found amazing. I mean, I really, really love this update. So, let's see. And so now this is the only hostile mob I will show you. And I'm going to get a sword for that. You, it is their magma cubes. You have probably seen magma cubes in the nether. They look a lot like a spring, and they look, they're the close re uh, relative to the slime. They're just, um, they're just, they're just, uh, fiery, and they kind of jump different. This one's more like a spring, and this one's more like a re retarded something. I don't know. But yeah, so now a new thing is if before if you have killed the screens, you know that they do not give you anything. But that is now not the case. Now, depending on the magma cream you kill, they don't drop it every time like most things. But if I can get lucky here and not completely fail. Come on, I'm just so unlucky. You guys probably think I'm, I'm horrible, but I, sh I assure you that there is a point to all this uh, fiery slime killing. If I can just find one that will drop me what I want, it's all I need. I don't want to just come out and straight tell you the update. I want to actually show you what happens. But, you know, if these guys keep doing what they're doing, I am going to have to do Come on. Someone's got to do it. Right? Right? Someone? I need one of you. There it is! Finally, finally, finally. Finally, finally. Now, if you have been, if you are a friend to potions, you know that the um, magma cream is a mix of a slime ball and blaze fire, which is... Uh, blaze rod put into your um, inventory which makes two blaze powder and so now basically they drop this and they're used in fire resistant potions which is really helpful when you're trying to uh, get blaze rods for the actual potions because the um, the blazes are some goons that shoot fire at you so a fire resistant potion on survival is really, 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 really helpful. So I think, nope, nope, one more thing. I hope, if this takes a long time, I'm not even going to show you because it's not that important. But if this works. Okay, so what I'm going to tell you what I'm doing beforehand just for this. You guys know, I don't know. Because it might not work, and if it doesn't work, um, you guys still want to know what I did. So I tilt the land and plant these watermelon down. I think they're watermelon. And well, oh, one of you got a one of you got a grow pretty soon. What what should happen, and I might come back to this early, uh, later, is. These now they don't require the farmland to be tilled for it to grow. It can just grow regular dirt, like you saw there. That was lucky. That was lucky. So if you see, if you saw that, and I uh, should have, that watermelon just grew on regular dirt, which it did not normally. You used to have to till the land the watermelon was going to grow on, but now that is no more. So now we are going to take a trip into the survival. And I'm just going to show you a couple things. These, this is a very small portion. But I thought they were important. So one, they kind of recreated beaches. They used to not be uh, as distinctive beaches. Sometimes there used to be like just dirt running into um, 
water but now they've changed it so that it's actually like you know a sandy area and like you can grow you can you know make your house on a beach and so you can definitely tell that this is uh, meant to be a beach and so I can barely take myself seriously keep saying beach which is a uh, so our FPS Russia's say of saying bitch but I digress so if you have not already uh, had some experience with enchanting if you if you set up your um, bookshelves just like this there should be one space around the crafting table too high exactly like this then when you craft when you uh, enchant things the levels are a lot higher see 33 32 and so that's uh, very different from it uh, if you just put down a regular crafting table which then the level only goes up to five so I just wanted to show you that and I just want to see if you can help. Uh, eventually, hopefully, I'm, I can show you. Um, apparently, they're supposed to uh, come, be coming out with like uh, a decoding of the ancient language that is the enchantments, but that is for a different day. So now, the actual update on this is that you can now enchant your bow. Bow power one, as you see, because I don't have that much XP. But I think. Let's see, I'm going to see how this works by uh, spawning a couple things. Let's grab 64 of arrows and some food we want to take par target practice on. Tyler, back me up. I know, guys, if you didn't know, uh, I just have Christian and Tyler listening to me just because I get lonely sometimes. So, um, guys, which who do you think I should take par target practice on? No response? I told you to speak. No? Oh, wait, yes. What? What should I take target practice on, Christian? Um, I do not know because you're not screen sharing. Um, no, like, what should I, uh, what should I spawn oh. to shoot? Oh, I think you should shoot mushrooms because they annoy me. Okay. Yeah. Some mushrooms. And if you guys, uh, Yet. don't already know, um, there's a special, like, a biome called a, like, a mushroom biome. And in there, a cow covered in mushrooms is actually like um actually um naturally spawns, and they look like this. And the the area I might make a video on this. I I mean there's a lot of things I could make a video on if you guys really wanted me to. And I basically do what you guys want because you guys watch the videos. So yeah. sometimes and one of the bug updates they did is they updated the sniper duel which is and the sniper duel is uh, kill a skeleton from 50 meters away with a bow and arrow and I think there's something wrong because I used to like try to shoot skeletons from like so so far away and it just didn't work so um, they updated that glitch and so yeah pretty much that's it, but there's one other thing I wanted to say. 
uh, we're thinking about opening uh, kind of a second channel, Bad Aiming 2, and to, we were going to put on that channel what would have helped us as a growing channel, because I know a lot of our subscribers are mostly growing channels, and I think that if all of, um, all of what we needed, like all the things that help you kind of start out, if all those videos would have been in one place, that would have been way helpful for us. So I'm thinking that that'll probably be way helpful for you. And if any of you notice, we've grown immensely in subscribers recently. We're up to a thousand subscribers in really, in, in really just days. And it's amazing to us considering we have like 200 maybe a month ago or something. I mean, we've grown so much in such a short amount of time. And we thank you guys 100% for that. So, if you guys really would like that, to, uh, for some videos to help you out, like I might do, I might show you how to put too many items, because too many items is very good for showing, to, like for making tutorials, and then in the tutorials, it helps you make videos, and videos are made by people, and people are you, so if that would help you, or if the whole idea of a bad aiming 2 for like kind of tutorial videos sounds good to you just leave a comment we read every single comment and we if you guys have sent us a message you know that we respond to messages really as fast and as much as we can so that's gonna be it for this video i will s oh no one more thing i want to say is i'm sorry that i'm kind of sh very shifty with my videos because i started the other um I started the Adrift, and then I sat that, and then I started a Survival, and then I kind of stopped that, because I used the Survival to make the, uh, Sheep and Die video, which kind of, um, it kind of polluted the, um, actual survivalness of it, because I, like, because you guys missed so much of what I did, and so we are having a lot of fun on our, on our multiplayer server. And so we were thinking about actually getting like a real hundred, like a hundred percent. We were gonna pay for a server and actually, you know, have it up twenty four seven. And so we were thinking about actually doing a three way survival. And the reason that appeals to me is because one, we all really like playing it, and two, I think it would be a really cool video if we could record from different points of view. And so I think that would be really cool for you guys. So. I've mentioned a lot of things in this video, so if you like any of them, then you can, you know, leave a rating, a rating helps a lot, or just leave a comment telling us the good ideas that you want to see come from this channel, and just, guys, I'm really gonna end, I'm kind of babbling, but really, we've grown so fast in such a short amount of time, and we, we honestly owe it all to you guys, so thank you so, so much from the bottom of our hearts. And so I think that's going to have to wrap it up. And I will see you next time. Peace.